Hey, how are you guys doing today? I hope you are doing fine. So, I took a poll on Instagram for this video about what should I do, a tutorial video or normal intro template. So, as you guys voted for a tutorial video, I thought to make a simple tutorial about how to create an outro template. So, let's check out what we are going to create today. So now we are in Vegas and first thing we are going to do is we are going to import an audio file. I will just adjust it. Let me just fast forward this process. Now let's listen. Now let's create two new video tracks. On the first layer, we are going to import the background. And we will adjust it according to the audio. Now let me just increase the opacity of this track now we will create a new video track now on the new video track we are gonna create a new solid and we are gonna choose white open the event pan crop and mask a rectangle from it Adjust it according to the video. This looks perfect. Now we're gonna add in some fade in and fade out to the solid. Now we're gonna click on transitions and I'm gonna take gradient wipe and I'm gonna choose turbulent noise. This is the transition I will be using for both fade in and fade out. Now for the second track, you just need to copy this and paste it on the new video track. Now click on event pan crop and just flip it horizontally. That's it. Now create a new video track and bring in a new solid.
Now we will be doing the same steps as we did for the previous tracks. This time we will be using a circle. This looks perfect. We are just going to adjust it. That's it. Now we are going to add in some fade in and fade out to the white solid. Now we're going to create a new video track and we're going to click on transitions and we're going to apply the same transition that we applied on the previous track. Now we will be creating two new video tracks and we're going to click on media generators and legacy text. Now add in the text. I will be going with this font. And just adjust the position. Now add in some fade in and fade out with some transition to it. Copy this text layer and just paste it above. And now we're going to edit this. Click on the text media. And we're going to position it again. Now 
Now create a new video track. And let's just bring in a legacy text again. This one is going to be for the subscribe button. Now position it right below the subscribe icon. Now we will be saving this file. Let's unmute the background track. And let's preview. That was it for today's video guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like on this video and also comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video.